What is energy healing? There are different modalities of energy healing. There's healing touch, Reiki, massage therapy, EFT tapping, and energy transference. How many of you have actually heard of those, experienced those? Think about when you have gone for a massage, what it feels like to have the warmth of the hands of the therapist massaging your body. It's not only the feel and the touch of the hands going over your body, it's also the energy that is transferred through the warmth of their hands into your body that helps to relax your body, that releases the tension in those muscles. Do you know of anyone that has experienced a healing using energy, such as Reiki or healing touch? Call in and let me know. I'd like to hear your story. Have you experienced healing energy throughout your life? There's such things as um, when you were a child, did you experience, for example, like if you had an upset stomach and nothing felt better than the touch of your mother's hand or a loved one's hand on your stomach, relieving that pain, relieving all the, the anxiety that you were feeling. It just felt better. That was healing energy work. I also want to let you know that every once in a while you may hear a comment from one of my two biggest fans, Angel and Foxy. So when they join in in the conversation, just give a shout out to them as well. Those are our puppy dogs. Once again, if you'd like to call in, that phone number is 626-213-5731. I'm also chatting with everyone as much as I can in the live chat room. When you're dealing with healing using energy, it also has to do with your belief that the healing energy will work for you. That it is part of an end result for you to have the release for what you were looking for. Part of the energy work is also from the perspective of Meditation, putting your mind at ease as well as your body at ease in order to receive the energy work. So hold on a second. I have a caller come calling in. I'll go to that caller in a moment. Hello, caller. How are you? I'm sorry, caller, I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat your your question? Hi. um, Yes, I was calling about determining your ability to heal. How do you know when uh, work from someone like yourself is effective for a situation? Oh, that's a very good question. And it, and it comes in through the different modalities that I use myself and that others use. Thank you very much for asking that question. And it, it can be determined if, depending upon if I'm using healing touch. And healing touch is a more um, calming energy, a more connective with your inner self as well, to, as well as with your higher self. It's also used 
to as pain management in a lot of situations. And so um, it, whereas Reiki has been used to align any uh, energy imbalances that you may have within your body. So, for example, if you come to me with um, an ache or a pain, I will focus on relieving you of that pain. And of course, the, the number one thing is, is if I lay hands on you and do the energy work with you and the pain is gone, that's the number one thing that shows that it has actually happened and that it works. The other thing is, is if you come to me with a dis-ease or an illness, if that dis-ease or illness, of course, after working with a healer, an energy healer, that disease is dissipated and or is no longer there, um, then that shows that it's not there, that, that the healing energy works for itself. Science is, is a very key part in healing energy, and that's the piece that helps us to relate to others that come to us or question the validity or the usage of healing energy. I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, quantum science. Quantum science says that, you know, we are actually living in the past and things that are happening for us have we've already experienced them. So anything that we have go, are going through and we seem like we can't get through it, we actually can because we've already gone through it and finished it. So that's a different type of energy. It's an energy of soul and, and, and placement. Also, scientists have said that energy itself cannot be destroyed. It is just put into a different form or a different shape or different matter. Um, when working with energy for, from a Reiki perspective, what it does is it takes the universal Reiki energy that's out there in masses. And then what I have been attuned with and other healing healers have been attuned to do is to take that energy and focus it specifically on your body. And it will go exactly where it needs to go when it needs to be there. Um, you could experience warmth when the, the energy is entering your body. You may experience coldness when the energy is entering your body. Or you could have sensations, tingling sensations, um, and actually sometimes numbing sensations. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, I think it does. I mean, I see that there are several modalities that you can choose from um, to... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming put your energy through and the universal energy into my energy. And then how do you determine what is the best modality for the situation? If it's a dis-ease versus if it's just a pain versus if it's mental or physical? I mean, is there a, a selection process? Well, for me, um, I, I, I do it two ways. I... I primarily just allow the energies that I have been attuned to. It's almost like a radio frequency. So my body's been attuned to various energies that, that's out in the universe. So I, instead of t taking on that human form or that ego form and saying, I'm going to do this type of healing on you because I know this is exactly what you need, I leave it up to the universe to sort of just use my body to channel in which energy is needed. So that's my primary choice when I'm doing it. My secondary way is, is, for example, depending upon time factors, and time factors is a key piece. If I'm at an expo or if I just happen to see someone as I'm out and about, I will basically use Reiki energy because Reiki energy is an energy that uh, it, it works with your chakras, your seven major chakras. And it will go wherever it needs to go, but it's primarily focusing on those chakras. So when it comes to if, if I'm limited by time, by being at an ex expo or with someone, I'll just send them Reiki energy because when you send Reiki energy, whether you're over the, the specific chakra or chakras, it will go exactly where it needs to go within your body. Hi. Thank you, Deborah. So that we're, 
did I answer all of your questions for you? Yes, I believe you did. Thank you very, very much. And thank you for doing the show. Oh, thank you very much for calling in. Have a blessed day. Oh, thank you, too. You have a blessed day. So as we move forward and we talk a little bit more about what the same caller actually had as a question is, does it work and how does it work? It's energy work. We are a mass of energy. Our bodies is, is nothing but a mass of energy. Scientists have proven that um, years and years and years of fact-finding and, and studies have, have shown that we are nothing but a mass of energy. And that is also where the terminology of a disease comes from because it's a dis-ease of the energy that is in your body, and it manifests itself into whatever dis-ease it may be. And what, as I was speaking to um, Deborah on the phone, I was explaining to her about Reiki energy and how Reiki energy goes through the different chakras. And from that perspective, each chakra is placed strategically through our body. And, and where those chakras are placed, if an energy imbalance happens, it, there is also the possibility that a dis-ease can manifest itself in the body. For example, if we have a situation where someone's heart chakra, where the color green is, the heart chakra is located right in between the breastbone where your heart location is, and just imagine that all of your chakras are down the center of your body strategically placed. The heart chakra, which is located between the breastbone, if it, there is a imbalance of the energy in that chakra, we can see that there's a possibility that things like heart disease, uh, lung problems, for women and for men, breast cancer, um, those types of things can manifest themselves into reality for individuals if there's that imbalance there. Now, I'm not saying that Every case can be cured. Every case can be resolved by cleaning out and clearing the energy from that chakra or that every case, is, every case of an illness or a disease is caused by that. It's just the basis that we look at when we go through and do healing. Um, to give you a little bit more information on chakra placements and the energy around those chakras, the, the chakra number one is your root chakra. It is based in the, the genital area. That is the chakra for your life force. And the energy around that, the color energy around that is red. And if you feel at points in your life that it just your life is not on track, you're not accomplishing what you think you should be accomplishing at this point in, in your life, um, that you're, you're not... Um, doing what destiny has, has identified for you, that could be an indication that the energy in the root chakra is out of balance. As we move upward to the second chakra, which is the sacral, sacral chakra, that chakra is located between the belly button and the location of the root chakra. And the color energy for that chakra is orange. The sacral chakra represents the pleasures in your life. If for whatever reason you feel like you're not getting the enjoyment out of life, the enjoyment out of your work, the enjoyment out of anything that you may be doing or experiencing, that is the chakra that can be imbalanced. That is the chakra that may need to have energy work done to it. As we move up further to the next chakra, that is the solar plex chakra. The solar plex chakra is basically between the, the breastbone and the, the navel button, and the color energy for that chakra is yellow. That chakra is the power chakra. That chakra, along with your heart chakra, are the two most prevalent chakras that I've seen in all of the work that I've done with um, patients and clients. 
that solar plex chakra, that power chakra, if there is an imbalance in the energy in that chakra itself, it could it could manifest itself into from a disease perspective, ulcers, yeah, stomach pains, um, pancreatic pains, pancreatic diseases. Those things also, for that one, is, is taking back the power over your life. If you feel like you just don't have the control over your life, that the essence of who you are, what you are, and where you are is no longer there. That is a chakra that may need energy work on it. Then as we move up to the heart chakra, which I was speaking about originally, that chakra healing color is green, which is also the color for healing energy itself. The heart chakra is our emotional chakra. So if you find that there are emotional things that are out of balance in your life, in a relationship, if you're finding an emotional detachment to your work, to your family, to your friends, to life itself, that is a chakra that may need some energy work on it. As we move up to the next chakra, that's the throat chakra. The color healing, the color energy healing for that chakra is the blue color. That throat chakra is your communication chakra. And sometimes when we find an imbalance in that chakra, you're unable to speak about things that you are feeling thinking about, or experiencing. You're holding in or holding back from expressing the true who you are and what you are. Then as we move up to the next chakra, that chakra is the third eye chakra. The healing color for that chakra is an an indigo color. It's a a very vibrant color. That third eye chakra is the eye is the chakra for intuitiveness. You just instinctively can see things and know things. And if you get to a point in your life where you where you say, you know, I used to just, I could be able to see this. I would, I would, I used to be able to see exactly where I need to be, what I should be doing. I used to be able to see people, read people, and you can't. Then that third eye chakra, it's a chakra that may need to be put back in balance, have energy work done with it. Then the next chakra is the crown chakra. That's our spirituality chakra. That's our chakra that connects us with our higher power, our higher source. The healing color for that one, actually there's three healing colors that are associated with that one. White, gold, and lavender or purple. Sometimes if we're searching, not sure of our faith, our spirituality, our beliefs, that's the chakra that may need some energy work. That's the chakra that may be out of balance. Sometimes if we're questioning whether or not we are doing what we should be doing in this life, on this journey, 
That is the chakra. That may need cleansing and healing energy. So that's the type of energy work that can be done using Reiki and working on the chakra specifically. Once again, if you'd like to call in, the phone number is 626-213-5731. I'd love to chat with you. I'd like to take a few moments and just go through a relaxation meditation. As I said, energy is in all forms. It doesn't necessarily have to be body-to-body, hand-to-hand, or hand-to-body touch. It can be manifested through prayer and meditation as well. So I'd like to take a few moments and take you through a relaxation meditation and let the energy of these words going out into the universe over the airways to you and filling your body with relaxing energy. So no matter where you are, take a few moments and just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And release it out. Take another deep breath in. Hold it and release it out. One last deep breath in. Hold it and release it out. Now, just imagine you're in a room, quiet, and you can hear the waves of the ocean going in and out, in and out. The more you hear the waves, the more the realization comes in your four eyes. In and out. You begin to sway with the motion of the waves moving in and out, rocking you, calming you, and relaxing you. Allow the waves to go in and out. In and out. Breathe the sea salt air in. Feel the coolness of it as it goes into your lungs. And breathe it back out. Feel the warmth of the sun as it shines on you. Relax. Enjoy life. I want to thank you for participating in the show today. And here's a message from me to you. I thank you all for joining in today and send you blessings, peace, and love. I don't want to end the show without sending a prayer of protection out to all of you. So for my meditation CD, together let's say the prayer of protection. Dear God, Please protect me with your golden white light. I ask that your protective white light completely surround me. Please protect me with a glistening circle of diamonds emeralds, and rubies in representation of spirituality, emotional love, and life itself. Encircle me with mirrors to reflect any non-positive energy being sent my way and I ask that the energy be sent back to its source and a reflection 
of it be shown to him. Dear God, I pray that you fill my aura completely with the energy of your protective white light and unconditional love. Thank you, God. Now, go in peace, blessings, light, and love. Blessings, peace, and love to everyone. Talk to you next week.